What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. Today, it's more of an editorial type of view. We're kind of laid back. I'm wearing my kind of pajama kind of wear today. But what I want to be going over pretty much is some of you have been asking, what equipment do I use? How does my setup look like behind the scenes? And pretty much just a bunch of behind the scenes questions that I think you guys deserve to know. You know, we just hit 900 subscribers. And this is a video I've been wanting to do. So yeah, this is my behind the scenes video. And also, I don't know how long this is going to run because I also want to throw into this video for people who want to start a YouTube channel, what equipment to get, what equipment to start out with, and tips for you to have within your channel when you boot it up. Because I know there's a tons of subscribers I have that don't actually make videos yet, but I hope one day that this video might inspire you to see what equipment I do use. Because to be honest, I think a lot of you guys are going to be surprised with what I use to just make my videos on an overall daily basis. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so we'll just be coming into my room right here. Obviously, you see over there, you can see my computer, my little pops on that desk. And of course, this is one of the other tripods I actually have. I actually, this is the first tripod I ever bought. I got it from Amazon. And of course, you can see that there is no camera on here. And of course, as you can see, there is no camera camera on that one either. Now, here's the most important thing with this whole look, and we'll get into what camera I use in a second, but I want to show you guys something. So this whole, so this is my whole look. This is what I, like you can see from behind. Uh, this tripod I use for certain other videos where I need the lighting to be kind of higher or lower, um, but in other cases, I kind of just set the camera right on top of here with this little handy dandy tool. And of course, this is a ring light. This thing is bright as all hell, uh, but I love this thing to death. Like I actually, this thing was like 60 bucks or something I got it on a deal on Amazon but I mean this thing works it brightens up the room a ton and I cannot recommend another ring light as well I think I'm gonna buy another one though to get from the side so I even have a brighter background I mean I love these ring lights and I, I think they're a ton of fun but of course this is kind of like what you can see from the side there's my chair you can see right there that I always see sit in right in front of the videos I plan on getting a more comfortable chair for the longer types of videos because sometimes it infects me uh, there's my little food tray that I sit there I set my microphone on it sometimes I'll have a notebook or maybe my uh, other iPhone that I throw on there to kind of go over maybe if I need to remember someone's actor and actress that's in a movie or even maybe I'm writing down a list I can have it all right down there of course if I'm playing rotten or fresh I'm gonna have my notebook there so I can fold it up show my score um, and of course you can see right here I have my Yeti microphone now this Yeti microphone is gorgeous this thing I got it so big thing for youtubers starting out i have to say is that this Yeti microphone there's something important about this microphone is that you can go to GameStop and I got it for, I think at GameStop, I got this Yeti microphone for around the price of, it came out to be $80 is what I got it for. But also there was a video game that came with this microphone. So what I actually did is I took the microphone out, went and sold the video game, got like 30 bucks for the video game, and the microphone came out to be over like 60 bucks. So it was totally thing. I totally recommend checking out GameStop for these. Even if you don't want the game, it, it's worth just selling it to get the money back. Now this is, I think, the most important part that I have to show is this thing. This is what I plug into my camera. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Zach, th this is an iPhone charger, uh, iPhone plug. So yeah, um, this is where we get to the most important part of my video, so let's cut to it. Now as we move in here, I now have this cord that I told you guys, yeah, you guys are wondering, well, it's an iPhone. So I film with an iPhone. Now this is my older iPhone I'm actually using for the main purpose of this video just to show this is actually the iPhone I used for that I actually used for my first videos ever on this channel. But I'm, the iPhone I usually use is the camera I'm using right now and that is an iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, I use that to film every single one of my videos. I don't have a regular camera, but I, I have a certain specific look on the world when it comes to using an iPhone and filming and just this whole generation of movie lovers and movie YouTubers and film creators and life that I'll get to later down in the video. But yes, yeah, so I use an iPhone. Now for the purpose of video, like I said, I am using my older iPhone to just show how it looks, but this is how it does. So I put this cord in. Obviously this connects to my Yeti microphone. I use this Yeti microphone for a reason. So this plugs into the Yeti microphone, which you can see from that red light that it is actually on right now. But when you go over here, I have this other cord that's plugged in here, which is just a normal charger. It's one of those 12 feet charger and it's just going back into there. Now what this does is this is something very cool. It one because if you just plug this in regularly, it won't it won't work with the Yeti microphone. It it'll suck so much of your battery. Your battery will either die really fast, or it won't even be able to support it with enough power. Now this this supports the Yeti microphone, but also be able is to connect it into this iPhone camera, making me be able to use the Yeti microphone into my mic. And yeah, this is my setup. I use an iPhone camera for every single thing. Obviously, I have my iPhone 7 Plus, which films in 1080. 
uh, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, even 4K sometimes. And I use an app called Filmic Pro at times that I use that sometimes works a little bit better, but sometimes I just use the regular camera. The Filmic Pro I usually use just for the short films in general that I've made. But yeah, everything I've ever filmed is has always been on an iPhone, and I believe in using these for a certain reason but yeah so this is my typical lookout you can take it right there take it what it is take a screenshot and stuff and yeah this is what I look like and when we go over here to sit down we'll sit down real fast this is what I usually see I have the Yeti microphone right here set that right there have the little ring light going and then the iPhone camera right there and I just sit there and talk my life away oh, you guys are probably wondering well Zach like you use an iPhone camera but that's cool but how do you edit is the most important question so this is the editing question that's a little bit hard I did start out with iMovie actually on the iPhone just basic simple stuff and at times for some of my actual videos I still use this program I use it to cut and splice a lot of stuff because it's so much easier to use just tip of your fingers work on it at work go on the go it's so much easier to use but what else I also do use is some other things is other than iMovie I also use some editing softwares over on the computer Obi is one of the ones I've been kind of tinkering with I'm not the best at it yet but it's one of the ones but I know some of you guys are like wow how do you get your trailer reactions up so fast and I'll show you what apps I actually do use to get my trailer reactions up like like that like the snap of a finger it's so simple and so simplistic it's easy to edit push put it into YouTube and get it up and going and it, it, it's, it's a fun process I love doing trailer reactions because they're so easy to do all right everyone so now we are on to my phone so this is I'm gonna show you how to make a thumbnail how I make thumbnails I'm also going to show you how to edit and just throw stuff in here so easily first thing a lot of people are wondering how do I get my trailer reactions up so easily so what I do is I go to YouTube go to the YouTube app you're gonna say uh, let's see Black Panther trailer say I want this so I'm gonna take the Black Panther trailer share copy link then you're gonna back out go to documents so documents is the most important app this thing is completely free and so you go in here you hit this little Safari button, you hit enter the URL or just paste it. It'll start loading it easily. Once it comes up, it'll pop up. You hit download and it'll take a second. Hit save. Now it'll back over here. Now I already had something saving over here. This is actually the background music I'm actually gonna use for this video. And now to, to save this, you easily just hit these blue little bars, move, camera roll, move to camera roll at the bottom and it'll save it now we are waiting for this black panther thing so i am going to sit here and wait a little bit to show you some of these trailers take a little bit longer i do prefer doing this on wi-fi if you can you can also do it on data it does download it just depends if you want to save your data or not so again same thing move over to camera roll and back so now we're going to hit the back button easily and what we're going to do here now is i'm going to show you so imovie we're going to go to imovie and what i'm going to show you is we're going to go to my movie Edit. Now this is the same thing that I'm already editing. This is my behind the scenes video that you're actually going to be watching right now. Now if I were to place this in here, what I would to do is say, so let's just go to the front of the, I just want to show you how to put a trailer into a video. So say I already filmed my trailer reaction, I watched it on my computer, but now I need to get the trailer in there. How am I to do this? So when you hit this plus button in the corner, you're going to hit the video button. It should be the first video in your recently added. You're going to hit that. Then you're going to hit that, the button, and it's going to have a bunch of different settings. So I obviously type, typed it in twice, but if you go reverse it backwards, if you throw it in there, so you have a bunch of different settings. The plus button is to add it, or you just double tap it and it'll pop it in. Play it will play the video. Uh, the squiggly mark will give the sound effect, so if you're trying to get a sound effect, say you're trying to get music from a video or something. Uh, the big square will overlay it into your whole image. The small square will put it into either the corners, which is usually the, that's how I do it. So that's the setting we're going to do. And then, of course, the last one, if you did watch my ranking video for the MCU, that's what I did. I got the posters, threw it on the side, and just split the image down the way. But now, so, so we're going to do this. So here we go. You can obviously see right here, I do have the trailer. I have the trailer right here. I can put it this side, this side. I can make it as big as I want. I can zoom in on I can zoom it in, zoom it in if I need to. I'm just this video, I'm just gonna throw it in the corner. So say I was reacting to this, you just hit the play button, and from there, you just, you can hit the sound on, you can turn it on from this bottom of the route. Uh, this little button down here will also control how fast you want it, if you want to freeze it, freeze frame it, if you're trying to do some maybe like breakdown reviews, and if you, there's also different filters for it. I usually don't screw with the filters unless I'm making a short film, but for the sake of this, yeah. And if you ever need to delete it, you just hit it, you just tap it, and hit the delete button. If you ever need to go back, you just hit that back button as well. 
But to go back out of the video, now I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail. So I'm actually going to make the thumbnail for this video, this behind the scenes video. So what we're going to do is we're first going to go into Superimpose. Now this is like a $5 app and this app is pretty much Photoshop for your phone. My sister introduced me to this. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit these little things in the import background. And we're going to find the picture that I'm going to be using for this. Now, the video, I think the picture I'm going to go with, this might not end up being the one I use. But I think I'm going to pretty much end up using this one. I really like that. I took it in between my ring light and everything else. But what I did mess up on first is that, obviously, this isn't going to fit into a YouTube video. So, what you can easily do is either go to Google Images and find a YouTube thumbnail in Google Images that is the size. Or you can tinker with it and find your own. So, this is the one I'm going to use. So, for instance, this is also a plug, Battle of the Schmoes. Check it out. But what you're going to do... You're gonna hit this import foreground, and we're gonna be using. Let's see. Yeah, let's use, let's use this one. Let's use this one. So what you're gonna do? Obviously, you're gonna kind of shape it, shape it into there perfectly. There you go. So there, there's the thumbnail, right? There's the thumbnail. What you're gonna do is now hit merge, and yeah, there we go. We got a thumbnail. It'll fit into the YouTube thumbnail. You got me, my sexy little self there. And what, what, what could I be pointing at? Now we need the font in there. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna save this. And there's a bunch of different things you can actually do with this app. Like I said, this is pretty much Photoshop. It helps so much. I've actually turned this on to other YouTubers as well. Totally recommend it. Now we're going to back out. Now, I could use Avery. I could use edit, attack, add text to photo. So I think I'm going to go to Avery first. And this is usually what I do. I hit enhance and hit the portrait mode. You can do high def, scenery, food. You can kind of do all these different types of ones. Now, for this one, I'm going to hit the portrait one. Save it. Done. Back out. Now there's Snapseed, Photoshop Express, those two I also do when I'm trying to get a little more kooky, but since this is just a basic one, we're just going to head into a ta add text to photo. Now there might be other texting photos, and I actually don't have, I actually have the free version of this, so there will be advertisements of course, but um, I, I need to buy the actual version, but I have been lazy on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add text, add text, and what we're going to do is say behind the scenes. And we'll hit that to the side behind the scenes video. There we go. So, and actually, this accidentally came up. Uh, let's back that out. Ah. Alright, so now let's bring this back up. So, say I wanted to put it right here. Now, this might not be the final thumbnail, but for just basic simplicities, this is what I'm going to show you. So, this is how it's going to be. Say we want to change the color. Say we want pink, red, blue, this, turquoise, green, whatever. For this, we're just going to use, let's use black. Mm, no, we'll keep it. We'll keep it turquoise. So, we'll do that. There's a bunch of different fonts you can use, but we'll just keep it that simplistic. You can kind of switch it around. You can flip it around. You can do the woo, the whole flippy around. You can change the opacity in the back. You can change it to yellow. And also change the X position, the Y position, all that type of stuff. Different types of tools you want to use. If you want to make the font larger, get rid of it completely, it's up to you. But that's pretty much how I make a thumbnail. Those are the apps I use, and I, I, I'm not even joking. You can use all these, and it'll totally work out completely well to your being. And if you have any questions, totally hit me down in the comments, and I'll give you other suggestions. So, of course, guys, this is the basic last part of my back behind the scenes. This is my setup for my computer. I have a laptop, another monitor keyboard mouse that that's really it. and then some funko pops right there and then my little oscar award right there but uh really that's it um when i do my webcam of course my webcam is up there that is a 1080 logitech i think it's a 920c it's very nice i got it for like 54 bucks at best buy it totally works microphone on it's pretty well but i use i usually like use my yeti mic more um this is actually where i set my lighting at i actually have another light box down here for videos uh looks like this can get pretty light but i usually only use it for trailer reactions and whatnot like i'll show you right here We'll just turn that, yeah, that, yeah, that thing, that thing gets bright. I use this thing when I'm on the go and whatnot, and I usually set it up on those boxes, have the light projecting at me. Uh, this is my other light I use for the background of my video, so it kind of brightens it up a bit. But overall, yeah, that's, that's my normal setup for when I'm editing videos and whatnot, and if I have anything else to do on the computer, I kind of just throw it up on here if I didn't do anything else on my phone. Of course, guys, we're back to my normal setup, showing me use my Yeti mic. You guys saw the whole behind the scenes video. Now, what I want to do is give some tips to YouTubers who are planning on starting their channel and YouTubers who are just maybe wanting to know what else they can do to improve their channel. Now, obviously, I'm 
I'm not that high up. I don't even have 1,000 subscribers yet. I'm on that road to 1K, and that's going to be a big milestone for this channel. But there's stuff that I wish I would have done on my YouTube channel the second I started it. And these are tips that I want to give to new YouTubers or people who are just starting out. Biggest thing I can say is start now. Um, yeah, I use an iPhone. The reason I use an iPhone is now in today's society, like, even actual film directors are now using iPhones to film their movies. Steven Soderbergh has a film, Unseen, coming out this year that looks insane, and it's only filmed with an iPhone 7. That's great. Um, Tangerine is another movie that's on Netflix, actually, and I don't like the movie particularly, but it's directed by the guy who did actually the Florida Project of last year, who's getting Oscar buzz. Tangerine, his first film, was only filmed with an iPhone 5. And yes, if you are into film, you can tell usually if a thing is filmed with an iPhone. You can really tell by just the film grain in it. But in general, like, the normal public audience isn't gonna know. And these are the biggest things I can say. For one tip I can give, start now. Start the second you can. If you got a phone and you got some nice lighting and stuff, then start there. Start there and start somewhere. That's where it's all gonna start. Don't say all oh, start tomorrow. No, start now. That is the most important thing I can say. Even going from there, I can even say, if you're looking, well, I wanna get some equipment first before I start. What did I just say? Get a Yeti mic. Hell, the mic I was just using on the go was a little road mic that I put on Amazon. I'll put the link down below for everything that I have. And even go get a ring light. Go get a small little box. Go get these little lights from Home Depot and just hang them. That's what I was using for a very long time. I was using that little lamp light you saw on the desk for a very long time just on my face. If you go look at my Spider-Man Homecoming review, that is one of those lights that I used on it. This ring light I just started using in December. Yeah, of course, this ring light doesn't prove a lot, but there's even better lighting than that. And really, just get start now save up get a mic get it you can get this you can get a little cheap little dinky mic off amazon for like 10 bucks and just start with that because everything helps you have an iphone or even an android there are tons of editing softwares on your phones that you can look up to just throw and edit splice together videos because once you get the basic concept of imovie or what other editing movie software you can go from there you can start getting some on your laptop or computer and go from there and you can even upload these videos from your phone to youtube like i said this is a totally great thing to use now yeah if you are using a laptop or computer a thing that i do recommend to throw onto your laptop or computer is vidiq if you're using google chrome download vidiq it actually shows you and helps you out make tags out on youtube it's a very nice software that i use to gain a little couple more views and it shows what's trending what's popular and what people are using in their tags you can go look at like chris stuckman or jeremy johnson see okay what tags did they use for this video and what tag should i kind of use on mine the other thing i can say is don't worry about your videos keep making it doesn't matter how many views you get it doesn't matter how many views you're gonna make as long as you keep doing it there will be an audience that builds towards you don't worry and always just be yourself don't worry about what asshole is gonna comment on your video and say you're a fucking screwball <laughs> No, don't worry about those. Those people are trash and don't have any guts to ever come on and make some YouTube videos. They don't know. They're just trolls and that's all they are. But the YouTube community in general is a fantastic community that just... The, the, especially if it's movie reviewers, there's everyone on YouTube has their certain community, video game streamers, bloggers, movie reviewers, everyone has their own community stretch, and I mean, the amount of people I've met in this community that are genuine, that are kind, that are amazing, are just out of this world amazing, and they're some of the bestest of friends that I could ever make. Yeah, those are my easy tips. Go and start a YouTube channel now. Start it today. Get in contact. Start talking to other people. Do not be afraid to comment on other people. Say, hey, nice review, man. Like, I've been doing the same thing just started i'd love to do a collab or something and also that's a big thing do collaborations start talking to other youtubers collab with them their their audience is going to move to your audience and that's how it is that's the best thing about youtube if you want to build something you want to build and leave a legacy on youtube this is what you can start doing yeah screw it you're not going to make money the monetization bullshit is there don't even monetize your videos don't worry about them just go in wanting to have a fun time and meet some awesome people because that's what YouTube's about. I don't even care about the money at this point. I don't care about any of that because I've maybe made like 25 cents overall and I don't care about the, any of that. I care about meeting new people, engaging with people, and giving people my perspective on movies because that's what's important to me. I love my community. I love the people who comment on the, all these videos. And I hope this video inspires you to go out and make some videos. So again, as I said, I have basic equipment to make and run this channel basic and small equipment now obviously like when i started this channel i wasn't very consistent and that was a big thing i wish i would have been i wish i would have pumped this channel out more i started in 2015 i really was lazy and didn't really get into it till probably pretty much the middle of 2017 is when i got super into youtube and I, that was my biggest regret 
is thinking I was too good for everyone else and not collaborating earlier, not talking to more people, ign not ignoring the trolls and just letting them get to me when they comment a bad video and I wouldn't make a video for a couple weeks and I'd come back and it would be no views. So for starting a YouTube channel, I truly believe to just do and do what you want to do. Basic necessities are all here. You need a phone, you need a camera, you need a basic editing software, and maybe some lighting and a microphone. And even if you can't afford lighting, film your videos during the day. Open your window up, have the light come in on you. If the sun's out, it's going to look gorgeous, I promise you. Seriously, guys, though, I hope this really did help you. If you have any other questions, please do not feel free to come and check me out on Twitter and DM me and leave me a message at Pope the King. I will always make sure to come and reach out to you guys and give you guys my views and thoughts and maybe even some more tips if you think I left out something. Even if I did leave out something, please let me know because I would really like to help you and help you out. I want to help other people start on YouTube. This really does mean a lot for you guys to check out this video. I know it's probably running a little bit longer than it did, but it was fun to do a behind the scenes video showing you guys the equipment I use showing the basic necessities of going into a video and just showing in general some other things if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and of course if you have any other questions i'd love to answer them and then of course before we get going make sure to hit up all my social media and go check out sandwich on films down below because down below i'm part of a website i love being a part of this website where we give out advanced movie screenings and also we do with tons of movie news and movie reviews on the website so make sure to go check us out and until next time guys you guys know what i'm gonna say stay classy and have a great rest of your day